Hey YouTubers, MT Central here. Now well, I'm going to try and make a video here showing you how to set up a spool gun correctly. So basically I've got here a 30A Miller spool gun and I'm going to show you how to set it up for welding aluminum because I've looked around on YouTube and haven't seen any videos showing the proper setup of the gun. So I mean half of your problems start with your setup of your your wire. So for starters, I'll show you here when you first get your gun, you're going to open this thing up, put your wire in. Now set your tension. This here is your tension knob. You want just enough tension on that so that it doesn't freewheel. Reason for that is as this wire goes through here, if this thing starts to freewheel behind you, you're going to end up with a bird's nest and uh, you know, then it's going to stop spooling and you know the little drive motor only has so much power it's not gonna be able to pull that so what ends up happening is your tip then burns back and every time that happens cost you a couple bucks so make sure that tension is just snug not real tight just snug uh, next thing is you're gonna get your you know your tension your wire tension set up for just so that it's got enough to pull it through the gun now that's this little knob here so this is, you know, you, you close that on your wire, obviously, and depending on which one you're using, the top, the top one in here is gonna be for your 045 or 364 wire, and the bottom one, which is what I'm on, is for 035. So me being right-handed, I turn my wire towards me, and the reason for this is, and I see a lot of people welding with it straight up, and half the problem with their welds is their wire direction isn't coming out correctly. So at the end of your nozzle, you want this to come out with a curl. Now you want to weld in the direction of the curl. So the way you get that curl is by adjusting that right there. So you either tighten it or loosen it, depending on how you're going to hold the gun. So you're going to have this thing up, you know, 15 degrees off, off of straight up and down, and your curl going in the direction of your weld. So how you hold your handle and everything is going to determine the outcome of how that weld looks. If you weld like this and your curl is heading down away from you, I get a better shot. So if you're welding this way, you're going to get a very black weld. And uh, full, you know, the, the black is, is really prominent. You get a lot more smoke and you just don't get as nice a looking weld. So uh, we run into this a lot with new, new guys coming into our shop. So basically, that's about it. Tension on your wire first. Tension on your drive roll. Get that curl going in the direction you are. If you're left-handed, obviously you're gonna turn this thing the other way and get that curl going that way. So, and next thing, of course, is gonna be your gas setup. Um, just quick note. If you're inside a shop, you can probably get away with 20. I'll go over here and show you on the gauge. So probably, I run about 20, 25. If it's a little windy, I'll be up to about 35, but any more than 35, and you're gonna pull in atmospheric air and get all sorts of crap in your weld. So you don't wanna ever run over 35. If it's too windy, you ain't welding aluminum, and that's that. So get everything set up right and uh, well, have fun. So basically, I'm going to try. I've been experimenting with some different camera angles and different cameras, trying to get a decent looking weld video, but it's not working so far for me. If anyone's got any suggestions for me, please just shoot me a message because I'd like to make a real nice close up of how I weld and how I get a nice looking bead and uh, try and help some other people that are just trying to be hobby welders as well. So. Let me know if you've got any ideas for my camera angles or cameras or what you put them behind. I've tried different shades of lenses and it's just not working out real well. So anyway, um, that will be upcoming. And please subscribe and leave comments. I enjoy reading.